hi all so in this video we are going to see like how we can set up our uh, existing dotnet application in the new laptop like whatever the things is required what framework required how we can upload download that framework and what are the is configuration and setup is required that all we are going to discuss in this video so let's move ahead and see so what we are going to learn in this video so firstly we will be setting up the environment for the dotnet in the new laptop so how we can, how we can do that and we will be uh, like setting up the environment to make uh, BBPI and MWC uh, applications enable IS configuration and Windows feature setup for the .NET application. So you can download the .NET framework and .NET runtime from this URL. It's a Microsoft URL, so you can directly go into the URL. I will keep this URL in the description, so you can take it and you can download it. So it's a straightforward. You will get the installer, so you can install the. You can follow up the steps and install the installer. Okay, so once it is set up, so .NET uh, the enable environment will get set up in your application. So <clears throat> moving ahead for the .NET and development environment, how we can how can you do that? So like if you have a Visual Studio, or if you don't have a Visual Studio, if you going to install it first time. So what you need to uh, make sure like the .NET component is getting installed with the Visual Studio. So like if you're going to work into the new uh, .NET framework and new .NET core services, so whatever the services is required, so that should be selected in your um, in in your like uh, installer to install it into the into the Visual Studio. Okay, so how you can do this? So this is kind of uh, So this is the Visual Studio installer. So if you you, you will be going to the like uh, if you are installing the Visual Studio, so if you going to the Visual Studio side, so you will be getting this installer firstly. So firstly, this installer we get installed. So how you can make sure like the .NET components are getting installed in your application? So what you need to do firstly, so like you see here, we are that we have a different uh, component are here. So definitely we're going to install that sp.net development component and HAO desktop component. So those are the things so here we are not clear about like what things are getting installed in our uh, system. So individual component we can go and see that. So whatever the framework, whatever the runtime we require so that we can install here. Like if you're going to work in the assembly thing also so we can check the assembly. Uh, if you are going to work in 4.6, 4.7 so that we can check here. 4.8 if we are working so we can check here SDK and also we can do it like later on so it's not always like you need to um, check it and install uh, on the first time only so anytime you can just uh, come into this installer visual studio installer you can modify it okay whatever the new thing is required so whatever the space it will require like suppose that if you wanted to install uh, .NET framework um, 4.6.2 SDK okay so how much the space it will require 28 mb so you can just uh, click it and you can just modify it so this uh, version will get installed in, inside the visual studio okay so that will become a compatible with your system so this is the first thing that you need to do okay so that you can set up your dotnet application so once you are setting like successfully set up your application now what you have to do uh, you will require to create the VD means Visual Directory, and you will have to uh, create the app pool in the IS con, uh, in the IS. Okay. So what things we need to enable in the IS? So firstly, we need to enable the IIS. So how we can do that? So for that, we will have to go into the control panel. Okay. So control panel turn windows feature on off okay in this i just got this directly so i just open it so if you see here i iis internet information services so when you like checking of this the first time so this by default is not selected here because mostly the laptop are not like uh, compatible uh, for the development so if it is not checked so you will have to check it uh, manually and if you have installed the .NET framework in the Visual Studio and the runtime, so that will also come here. Okay, if you install the Visual Studio and .NET runtime, so whatever the components are there, that will come here. So what further you need to do? 
so you need to firstly uh, check this IIS Internet Information Services. Okay, so once you are uh, you checked it, so you would be able to open the IIS here from here. This one. Okay. So here you are if you are aware so you can just set up the app pool you can create your own app pool for the dotnet application you can set up your um, website here you can create the vd so all of this these things you can only do after like once you are enabling this is for the laptop okay what further you need to do right So basically like if you, you are getting the error while running the application so this will definitely not be um, it enabled in all the laptops you know, first time when you are installing the Visual Studio. So what you have to do further you will have to expand it okay and you will have to make this HTTP activation like if you want to run the WCF services so you will have to Windows Com Communication Foundation HTTP activation clicked here okay so that it will enable the w, uh, wcf http services and make it runnable in your pc same way here for the dotnet framework if you wanted to run it 4.8 sp.net and wcf services so we you will have to make it activation http activation clicked here after that only you would be able to run this uh, wcf services in this system otherwise every time what this error you will you would be getting like WCF service the page you are requesting cannot be served because the extension configuration because okay so this error every time you will be getting so what you have to do you will have to go into this path and you will have to enable this HTTP activation so once this HTTP activation enabled successfully you would be able to run this WCF services in the system Okay, so same thing is here. Like if you are running the WCF first time, so it will always require to uh, enable the HTTP uh, activation. And sometimes you also need to uh, check the MIM, MIME. Okay, it should be registered in your IAS. If it is not there, so add it here. Whatever the service type, you, uh, whatever the file type you are going to use. Okay, so how you can check that? So go to the IAS. Okay, this is the IAS. So if you see here, MIME -M -M -I -M -E types. Okay, it, it is kind of other media types the system is supporting. Okay, so by default, it, uh, it sometimes it comes, sometimes like it does not come with the PC. So if anything is not there, okay, like HTML dot HTML is not there. So what you have to do, you will have to add this HTML extension here. And what are the MIME -E types? So that you can find it out what you have to do so basically the extension is required and the type is required so do two things so like if you wanted to dot html so html okay so this is the extension and what what could be the file type so html file so this way you can add here if it is not there okay so it will enable and make it compatible uh, file type with your pc so this is the second thing third thing that you need to verify Okay. So these are the uh, URLs that I will put here in the description so that you can go into. So let me show you what the content is here. So this is the same error that I had shown you. Like if you are running it without activating a WCF service, it will give you the error. And error is like same. The WCF service hosting the page you are requesting cannot be served because the extension configuration. Because of the extension configuration. Okay, so that you can check here. You can activate it and it will be started running. And this is the kind of MIM thing that, that you need to add if it is not present. And this is for
so this is also the same saying the same thing like http activation so that you need to do so basically uh, web services gets started working easily like web api and mvc application but if you're running uh, any other application like wcf services so it will require some uh, more activation more, more configuration in the system okay so earlier it was not running but if i am running the service now like suppose that crm is service so it will be running appropriately here so if you wanted to see that how the service needs to set up and everything so i already have the video created in my playlist mvc playlist and api playlist so you can just go there and see that okay so this is the after all this configuration the service will be started running in your pc this way okay so i service so set up for my api so it is coming here so if i am doing see all the user details are coming okay so you just try to set up if you have you if you face any issue or you have any hurdles so just let me know i'll i'll help you on on that okay thank you so much for the watching see you on the next video